that's 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 on the 24th of December 2016. Now, it was a development that was applauded by Nigerians and, of course, the federal government. But then the capture of Sambisa Forest seems to uh, have generated another problem. Last week, operatives of the Department of State Services arresting 13 fleeing members of Boko Haram in different parts of Nigeria, including Lagos. Now, four members of the sect were actually arrested in the Okoba area of uh, Lagos State. That's in southwest Nigeria. Spokesperson for uh, the DSS, Tony Opuyo, said the suspects fled to Lagos to evade arrest in the Northeast. Uh, he says the ongoing military offensive in the Northeast is responsible for the massive relocation of Boko Haram suspects from the region. On the same day, four members of the sect were the same day that four members of the sect were actually arrested in Lagos, the leader of the Boko Haram sect in Okene, Abdullahi Mohammed, was notoriously called Huja, was also arrested. Huja, according to the DSS, was responsible for the coordination of Boko Haram activities in the Okene axis of Kogi State. Also on January the 1st, at Mutumbiu in Gasol, local government area of Taraba State, two Boko Haram suspects were arrested in a mosque after they had fled Borno State, where they were alleged to have been involved in Boko Haram terrorist activities. Now, these incidents are already making people in Lagos and, of course, other places restless and uncomfortable. Lagos, for instance, is a densely populated uh, state, and any activity of Boko Haram in the state will no doubt claim heavy casualties. What then can be done to ensure that Lagos and, of course, other states are spared uh, from this incursion of Boko Haram. Joining me now to discuss uh, that and more is uh, Hassan Stanlabo, who is a security expert and, of course, a retired military officer. Uh, Mr. Stanlabo, thank you very much for coming on the program. So it, it's no surprise <coughs> at all that um, after the uh, capture of Sambisa Forest, especially the capture of Camp Zero, um, we're seeing Boko Haram uh, terrorists now uh, fleeing my doggery. But, but it's... It, it's um, I don't know. You, you look at the distance between Lagos and uh, and the northeast, quite far. But it, it clearly shows that these guys are willing to run to as far away as possible e if they had the opportunity. You are very correct, Deji. As a matter of fact, um, I'm of the opinion that they were even arriving most of these parts of the country belatedly because I had expected it far before now. So it goes a long way. To, I mean, it, it goes a long way to let us understand that look, the military is really doing its job, okay? That they are now fanning out, so to speak, it means that their cells are now beginning to move ahead to see if there could be any form of regrouping. But of course, since the military has done a, quite a successful job, regrouping will be very, very difficult. The best they can now do is to see how they infiltrate communities in all these towns, and the most attractive towns are the economically buoyant ones, Lagos, Kano, Porta, Why are they attractive? So attractive because, um, one, the huge population density. That's two, true. two, the, 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 the soft targets, which some of the, I would say, business establishments constitute, five-star hotels and so on. All these are things we should be watching out for. If they make any mistake to step into any five-star hotel, we are in trouble. So I expect that a lot of beefing up should be going on now by some of these establishments. All forms of um, preventive uh, terrorism initiatives should be put in place immediately, both by government, private sector, and so on. We must be working on all but, that. But at this stage, you, you may want to say that, um, you know, what you actually need now is intelligence gathering. And, sure, and that sure. Military action is it's, it's not what, what is needed at this stage. So this, this is where we would expect uh, the intelligence community, the police. The, you the are DS. correct, Deji. We have won the battle. We have won the war. Now we, are, we have to win the peace. Winning the peace, we have, it calls for huge level of intelligence. This is where now the people, that is we, we the Nigerians, have to come in. And that is one crucial element of intelligence gathering, that That's the, the people. The people, information the, has people to come. the people, the ordinary Nigerian folk on the streets. We, the people, really have to support the military now. 
in availing them all sorts of information. No information is, do I say useless? You just pass it on. They would know how to carry out the filtering process and know which becomes intelligence and so on. You just pass on your information. What, what do you think, I mean, for, for, for ordinary civilians now, what, what do you think they should be looking out for, for those unusual things in their communities? One, you must know your neighbors. It is very important. Okay? You must know those you hire to do one or two things for you, be it your security man at the gate or even your, 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 your employees in the office. You must, you must, you must do some, some uh, what's it called now, uh, 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 cross-checking of their background, okay, to really know who they are before you engage them. You must be so, uh, 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 you must be watching out for things like black leather materials of whatever color hanging around unattended to, especially at places like motor parks and so on. You learned of the recent development in part of the Northeast, where a little girl who just came back from school was handed over a material, a, I mean, this, uh, uh, what do we call it, pure water, okay? And she was asked to take it to one of the soldiers at the duty post. Innocently, the poor girl walked on until one of the soldiers felt, look, what is this girl holding? and ask the girl to halt. When they drew closer, collected the item from her, they discovered the attachments that were beneath it. The soldiers kept it down, took the girl away immediately, and called in their engineers to look at it. That turned out to be a time bomb, which the military engineers were able to immediately defuse. Defuse, yes. Otherwise, by the time that water had been handed over to the soldiers at the duty post, it would have gone off and nearly four or five soldiers at that post would have gone. That soldier who was able to observe and ask himself, what is this girl carrying? If it's water she wants to drink, let her drink it. Soldiers wouldn't call for water elsewhere. They have their supplies because nobody trusts anybody again. So the soldiers have to take care of themselves. The point I'm trying to drive home here is that most of the individuals who are involved in these issues, some are as innocent as you and I. The girl was simply obeying an adult. Take this water, take it to those gentlemen who are working there. She's in class one. She had only just finished nursery. She's in class one or two. It is quite scary. So we, 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 need to, we, we need to really, really, really be watchful and know what is happening around us. Know what is happening around us. If you have neighbors who we don't know what their daily activities are, they only leave in the morning, come back in the evenings. Please raise some questions. Try to find out. Do you know what everybody does for a living? And so on. If there are strangers within your locality, especially those of us that live within estates, there are strangers within your... You find out. And so on. Landlords should be able to question their tenants. I see you have a guest. In fact, tenants should not even wait to be questioned by the landlord. Let him know. So I have a guest, he'll be here for about one week, okay? He came from the village. Fine. Let people be in the picture. So these are some of the things we need to watch out for. And like I said, the five-star hotel authorities will... Have to beef up security. Beef up security, seriously. What is happening is real. And like I said, I expected it far before now. So it's even coming later. And that means that it testifies to the good job the military had done. Because, I mean, if there was to be anything like a bomb blast or suicide attack, yeah. for instance, in Lagos, uh, we can just imagine what the casualty uh, figure will be and then what signal that will send across the world. Yes. Yes. It's, 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 it's quite terrible. <laughs> but but uh, you think this is a phase that we will overcome e eventually? Um, DJ, I must tell you this. We shall have to live with terrorism for quite some while. It's a bitter pill to swallow. But I must say it as, as a security person. Terrorism is still in Afghanistan, Iraq, and so on. Israel, everywhere. You can deal with insurgency because dealing with insurgency calls for military operations with appropriate uh, uh, timelines and so on. With terrorism, you can only weaken the, 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 the terrorist's ability 
to reconvene and so on. You can actually bring them down, deal with their spine, but their hands and legs might still be moving until after some time they die off, but it takes time. We'll take a short break now. When we come back, I want us to talk about the Kadu, Southern Kaduna crisis. Uh, uh, it's still very much talked about in the country today. So stay with us and uh, we'll be right back. Every day, every hour, and every minute, news break in Nigeria. Things happen so fast, it's most times difficult to track and comprehend them. But that's what we do right here on DJ360. 2015, would you want to come back again? It's like asking Jesus Christ if he knew he was going to die, would you, come, would you want to come back as the savior of the world again? We do not just help you track the stories, we break them down. Explore all the angles, analyze the issues so that you can fully comprehend the stories and use them to make the right decisions. 